Our video today, guys, is how we can install Windows 10 from another PC. I have two computers here, the laptop and this PC. This will be the target PC, and the operating system will be coming from this laptop. We need to be connected over a network. My laptop here is connected wired to this router, and the same with this PC, it is connected wired. So this is what we call network install. The installation will go through the network coming to this PC. Now let's go ahead and configure this laptop and proceed with the installation. We need a software called Serva. Just Google that. This will be the link. Click this one and we'll be directed to their website. This is used for network boot and network install. So let's go ahead and go to the download page. Don't worry, this is free. There's a free version. This is the community and that's the professional. So let's scroll down and get the um, Serva community. Download that. This is a lightweight application. So it will be quick. Show in folder. And we are going to extract this to this downloads folder. And there you have it. Let's open it. Choose the right version for you. For me, it's Serva 64 because this is 64 bit. Then we're going to wait for seven seconds. Yes, I am a community user. Let's just wait for a bit. There you go. Okay. And this is where the settings are. Click this icon, settings, and this is the interface. Let's go and configure DHCP. If you do not have a DHCP server, you need to configure that. But for us, we have a DHCP server running from the router. So we just click on proxy DHCP, put a check mark on BNL. Then we need to bind this DHCP to our IP address that is connected to the router. I'm going to show you how you are going to see that. So this is my IP. Just go to your search menu and type CMD, then type IP config. This will show all the IP address you have and look for that adapter where your wire is connected to the router. This is my Ethernet adapter and that's the IP address, the same with this. So that's it. Let's go to our TFTP server and put a check mark on TFTP server. Here on the TFTP directory, we need to create a folder where we're going to put our OS. So I'll go to my documents and create a new folder. I will name this one as network install. Okay. Let's go back to server. I'll browse that folder I just created documents there you go that is network install open this one and that's vacant there's nothing there just select that okay so server will require us to exit the application and open it again close let's go to that server directory here there you go open that and then open server 64 let's wait for seven seconds again Yep. Okay. Now the server will create folders in that network install directory. So let's go ahead and visit that one. That's the logs. You can check that one and it says created a folder. Network install. And these are the files that it created. Now our target here is WIAWDS. Open this and we need to create another folder. We'll name this one as Windows underscore 10. Ten underscore 10. Okay. Now we need to have our OS ready. This is my image for Windows 10. It is on ISO format. So I need to extract this OS. You can use WinRAR. I'll just extract that one. This will take maybe 30 seconds. So let's just wait. OK. 
Okay, that's 90 plus. All right. So there you go. This is the extracted OS. What we're going to do is copy everything. Copy. And then paste this one inside the folder network install WDS and then Windows 10. We'll paste it here. Right click and then paste or just control V. Okay, almost done. Yay! Come on. Okay. So we need to go back one step backwards on the folder. One more. Where is that? here wia wds we need to share this folder so right click and then properties click on a sharing tab don't click here let's go for advanced because there's more things we need to do click share folder and then i'll add underscore share then check on the permissions this is set to everyone and then i'm going to set full control in change apply Okay, for now, I'm going to do that so that I will not have problems. After you did that, you need to go to security tab and add everyone here. Click on that edit and then add and then type in everyone here or type every and then check names. It will complete everyone. Okay. And then put full control and modify. Apply. Okay. Now we did that so that we are not going to be bothered by permission issues. Go to search menu and then type in control panel. We need to check some settings here network and internet, network and sharing, and change advanced sharing options. So we need to check that this is set here. Turn on, oh, that's okay. Um, this one and no, the, the last one, I'll just turn this one off so that we'll not be bothered with passwords. Okay, so turn off password and make sure that network discovery is on. So that's about it. We're going to run server. Open. Wait for seven seconds. And okay. Now, Serva will run like this, and you can see that there, uh, you have you have the logs here, and you can already see that discover. The next thing we are going to do is turn on the PC that we are going to install the operating system. We need to go through the BIOS and make sure that LAN booting is enabled. So power this one on. Make sure you know how to go through that BIOS setup. For other computers, it's delete, but for this PC, it's F2. So keep pressing that one and you're going to go to the BIOS. Now, your BIOS page should be different from this, but just make sure to go to that boot option or try to locate something that says LAN booting, PXE, something like that, and make sure it is enabled. So for me, we can see it here, legacy boot, and just below there you have LAN Realtek PXE. So it is enabled. There you go. I'll just go ahead and save this one. And a boot from that, the boot menu key for me is F10. For other computers, it's F11 or other keys. So make sure you know that. While booting, you need to press that one. And you can see I'm on a boot option here. I'll select LAN and then press enter. This will boot from that laptop. So it's asking for a DHCP. There you go. It's done. This is the Windows that is coming from that laptop we have there. Just press enter and wait. You can see that IP address below 192.168.10.254. That's the IP address of our laptop that we set on that server configuration. So it means we're booting from that server. All right. 
it will load up and this will come up now the reason why I we put on everyone here just put the name everyone and we don't need to put a password here because we turned off uh, password protection on our share so just press enter or click that connect button and there you go we're on the installation page of Windows 10 for you guys who doesn't know how to install Windows 10 I'll just quickly continue here but for the others who already know you can just stop by here and do your thing so I'll just install Windows Pro accept terms next custom install enter and I'll just delete all the partitions so that I'll do a fresh install and go for new next okay next and this will start installing Windows 10 okay all right all right reboot and just so we can finish this one and make sure that everything is okay so it's time to locate the region what keyboard type are you using us yes um, add another keyboard layout no and uh, do you want to connect to the internet I don't have internet for now I, I don't connect when I'm installing so put in the username password I don't usually put password just accept this accept that and hi we're getting everything ready this might take several minutes and there you go well you guys don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and share this one to everybody hope to see you in my next video